Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another daily, another afterbirth, another afterbirth, another day. I am in a food coma right now. I'm lethargic. I'm tired. The spider. Fucking seriously. Look. Thank you. There we go. So I'm half asleep. We have to do a Samson run. Uh, I was kind of hoping that was self-evident. It may not have been. A Samson run which will take us to... I'm not going to risk this. Uh, it's like we're fighting just Isaac. That should be fine. The money for power is very good. As Samson, we start with Bloody Lust. And Bloody Lust, for those of you who are not familiar with the game, as you take damage on the floor, your damage itself increases for that floor. Uh, so, our play, uh, our strategy, uh, hesitate to keep using the word play in this manner, but our strategy for Samson Run it's going to be to try and take constructive damage. This is good. Uh, what does constructive damage mean? Well, some damage that doesn't kill us uh, and doesn't ruin our deal with the devil chances. No, normally, what we're looking to do is pick up something like the IV bag out of a blood bank, which will allow us to, at will, take red heart damage. Red heart damage doesn't count uh, against you for a deal with the devil. Um, but also... We're going to want to be thinking about... We're going to want to be aiming for spirit hearts uh, to protect us out from... That was really, really bad, but at least we're doing more damage as a result. Woohoo! Uh, yeah. IV bag is the standard Samson play. Again, I use the word play in that way. Did we find an item room? Yes, we got money equals power. So we're also going to want money. Which means we very much need to think about whether we want to buy things from the shop. Apart from the fact that doing so costs us points, usually. So our damage is reset. So we'll be looking at some way of taking constructive damage. This is probably a good way of doing it. Especially if we can find some red hearts on the ground. I'm not going to take any more than that. We haven't got any bombs, which is a shame. Um, because I'd like to have some survivability. I mean, if we get hit, we've probably ruined our deal with the devil chance. So, let's not. Um, but it, it does sort of... It affects the logic of whether we play that blood bank more. I think we played it the right amount just now. What is... Is this fate's reward? Your fate beside you. I do wonder what it does. I would like a red heart, yeah. But also I would like a spirit heart, which means I would like a bomb quite a lot from this game. It looks like Fate does the same shots that we do. Uh, Fate's reward, I should say. Fate itself gives us flight and an eternal heart. This is pretty decent for being directly behind us. It's almost like uh, an incubus, I suppose. Ah, a bomb. That's really good. We haven't taken red heart damage yet, so hopefully there's spirit hearts in here. Uh, no, small rock's really good, though. Uh, the damage upgrade from small rock... Well, you know the theory. If you have just damage, you don't necessarily need to worry so much about um, survivability because you'll tear through enemies at that little bit faster. Monstro here should be reasonably easy, but knowing me, I'm going to get hit by a monstro because that just happens, you know? You think you're doing really well, and then suddenly a stray monstro shot hits you up in the face, but we're fine. No damage taken so far. This is a decent pickup. That's a decent pickup. And this is Krampus. It's not Krampus. Well, <laughs> okay. Um, I think I want Death's Touch. Now, this is very dangerous. This is very dangerous indeed, and I recognise this. But I think that our damage is going to be so out of this world amazing that we can we can cope with this. Where am I going? I, I was hoping to find some bombs. I think I might have. I have. Um, the bombs will break these tinted rocks, and the tinted rocks will give us spirit hearts, please. Thank you. So we're back to us just as survivable as we were before we took Death's Touch, but now we're doing a lot more damage. Uh, I think I will not bother with this. I don't know what I can get from blowing up 
those blood banks. Oh, we'll play this one. In fact, there's a tinted rock here, so glad I saved my bomb. And I got a bomb back. And this. I won't waste any more time on this floor. Don't forget, boss rush is important on a daily run. Do to do, do next floor. Do the devil still open? We could take this, and I will. That was very, very unlikely to have happened, so I just want to make everybody aware of how very lucky we were to be able to take Incubus for half price. Now, I'm not going to... I'm going to try to avoid taking any silly damage, uh, especially things like Curse Room. So now we have three Death's Touch shots, variously spread, spread around the room. Uh, yes. This is a good run, and I think everybody is going to be in a good position. I suspect that everything that's happened to us so far is seeded. Including that deal with the devil look just now. Um, so hopefully other people have... Well, hopefully for them, they've done things in the right order. I don't know if there was a wrong order. I've not put the time into you know, working out the mathematics of, of the ordering of I did things. Run away. We're okay. Um... But yeah, I, I, I genuinely get the sense that doing things in the wrong order or taking damage at the wrong time, you know, if, if you guys took damage on that second floor where I managed to avoid it, you know, you, you could have lost that deal with the devil chance, which was, <laughs> you know, stupendous. But that uh, wrath fight, of course, gave us the bombs we needed. I don't... I'm going to take it. I don't know what it is. Key bum wants your keys. Okay. I hope you pay out with better stuff than bum friend. So I can imagine there's a lot of variance on that. We didn't actually get a spirit heart until after we fought after we fought Roth. Um so plus, But we didn't fight Roth until we had the amazing power of death's touch on our side. This floor is done. Goody jur. Oops, careful. Now this could be good because we've got such a spread of attacks available to us. And it is already over. You know, we fought rough before... Well, uh, after we, we got the Death's Touch power up. And we managed to go back and get Incubus. So if we hadn't fought rough, got three Spirit Hearts from the Tinted Rocks and been able to get back into the deal with the Devil, we wouldn't have Incubus with us right now. Uh, and I think Incubus is going to be one of the most powerful... Uh, factors in this room. The fact that we've got fate, uh, I forgot what it's called, this fatey item here, and incubus means that we can spread our damage around like bilio. Plus, of course, don't forget money equals power is on us. Money equals power is on our side. I do tend to rush my words, I apologise for that. I've become aware of it whilst doing these recordings, actually. Um, it's interesting, once you get over the sound of your own voice, which is extremely weird to listen to, uh, as you probably know if you've ever done uh, language at school, where they make you record yourself and, you know, you play it back and you listen to yourself and go, I can't believe I sound like that. I sound like a douchebag. Anyway. We'll probably want to go, oh, fuck it, we'll fight the boss now. Um, once you get over the sound of your own voice sounding so goddamn weird in your own ears, uh you then start to realise how bad your diction is. If you have bad diction like me. Uh, speed upgrade is fine. I'm not going to sweat the points. Um, I, I'm taking the Northern Lion stance on those points. Whereby I, if I want the thing, I'm going to take it. The 30 or so points that you lose from doing so is not worth as much as the fact that I'm playing this game to enjoy playing this game, not to can try and min-max every single ounce of competitiveness with with the other players, you know? If you want to play it, uh, you know, if you want to play it like that, that is not me saying do not play it like that, by any means. That's nice. You know, if you want to play the game to get every single point you can out of it, well, I hope that you uh, succeed. But uh, it's not the way I want to play it. Now, I'm tempted to take this rather than uh, Woodworm over there. I can see forever is nice, and so is Scatter Bombs. I put bombs in my bomb. Uh, the reason is Woodworm there doesn't actually... Oh, right, I forgot about that. <laughs> Are you a wizard? Uh, uh, no, I'm not. Amnesia is okay. 
Wouldn't mind a... Uh, careful. Wouldn't mind um, a way into the shop, though. The the shot sizes that Wubworm gives you is increased, but you don't get more damage when they're larger. It's just a bigger hitbox. Uh, therefore, we've got I Can See Forever, and there is no secret room in this direction, so I'm just going to leave. Because that's surprising to me. I would have expected to be over there. We did get Amnesia as well, but we're well on target for Boss Rush if that clock is anything to be believed. So the big hitboxes have obviously gone away, but with Death's Touch, we've already got a big hitbox. And don't forget the, the Samson technique, which is my, uh, my new sitcom about the Binding of Isaac. World card, we'll just use it. Justice card, we'll just use it. Uh, it has not been, been too important to us, you know. We've, we've not found any arcades, not that I was really looking, let's be fair. Uh, for once, I don't want that. You know, uh, for all I was saying about not min-maxing the points bomb bag, not particularly interested, actually. Uh, bomb. And the hermit. We can go into our shop. I know we're right next to it. We probably could have got out of the, the boss trap room there. The mob trap room is probably going to be fine. Yeah, we haven't found an arcade, so we haven't been able to hurt ourselves on purpose. Uh, I, uh, I'm going to take this key so that I can get into the item room on the next floor. We've got enough bombs, and also, of course, you have to bear in mind, I assume that this key beggar chap, this key bum, is going to nick all our keys. Um, so I'm probably going to have to buy one or two. I'm not going to sweat the damage downgrade from losing the points, which we... Uh, from losing the coins, I mean. Why am I doing this room? Good question. For that key, I suppose. Why don't you get that, since then we can see what you do. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, I'll take that if you don't mind. All this money, don't forget. Damage upgrade. All of it. Every cent is, I think, approximately 0 0.4. 0 0.4 damage. Don't want that. What was I saying? Samson. Take damage. Red heart damage, ideally. We can't. Uh, for that, we need a blood bank or IV bag, and an IV bag comes from blood banks. But then you have to play the blood bank long enough to get IV bag out of it. So if you see where I'm coming from, the only real way we can play what we call Samsung Meta, I keep saying Samsung, I don't know if you've noticed, uh, is to uh, be able to constructively take red heart damage to increase our own damage output. Because we don't want to take spirit heart damage because that's our survivability. You know, we've already got one half of the equation here. I'm just going to let this chap take this. Another uh, chest? No. Spirit hearts are our survivability, which is the goal. You know, that's what we're aiming at. But we haven't got the part where we can do... Oh, that was very good. We haven't got down the part where we can do ourselves red heart damage on purpose in order to increase our damage throughout the floor. I want to bait Monstro 2 here, there we go. I'm having three death touch, death touch shots. Basically triple shot. Uh, the safety pin is good and this is probably a scary place to be. I don't want either of these. The reason I don't want either of these, I do want this, uh, is that Ghost Baby is just shit. Mom's knife, combined with Incubus and presumably that fate item, is also pretty shit. You know, I don't want to sabotage... Ooh, this is probably going to be good then. Oh, really? Oh, we can't even use the bed. That's kind of upsetting. That's pretty good though. Uh, what happens is they get tiny little knives themselves and they just follow you around with them. Uh, which is as bad as it sounds. You basically have to do contact damage with your familiars. Uh, it's just not worth the effort. If you didn't know that, and you picked that up, then I hope you've learned. I hope you treat it as a learning experience. I didn't want to sound like I was being patronising just now. I hope you've learned your lesson, young man. Uh, no, I, I mean I hope that you accept the learning experience for what it is, which is that on this particular daily, you learn something about how Mom's Knife interacts... Ooh, that was bad. Interacts with... Uh, these two particular familiars. Uh, we'll take this. 
It gives us five bombs and they're poison bombs. You know, you can't um you can't expect every run to be a winner. And if you don't know something and it turns out to ruin your run. You're I'm gonna be playing this game a lot. And I hope that if you're playing this game, you will be playing this game a lot. There will be future runs where you have Incubus and the opportunity to take Mom's Knife. You could have a death oh, a death touch Mom's Knife opportunity and you don't take it yet. Yeah. Because you are aware of how bad... What am I even doing? Look, I did tell you I was in a food coma from my Chinese and I am not very much paying attention. But still... Look, it's okay, we've got all these spirit hearts, we're very survivable. I think we can do boss rush in this situation uh, without worrying too much. So hopefully, if you if you are currently at your point in this run, in a sort of a mom's knife incubus torpor, uh, a, a damaged slump, because what was an amazing run has turned out to be a shitty one. I guess we take this. But do we even want to take... We might as well take the Book of Sin. We don't have a spacebar item. We haven't. Well, this time it gave us a bit of damage, which is... Uh, we'll see if this is worth it. It should be worth it. D8. Or this particular thing here. This is a very good question. I think we want the Halo. I know it ruins our permanent polar invincibility, which I just went to the effort of getting, but... We do have a potential couple more deals with the Devil coming, so hopefully we can get back into that. And don't forget, permanent Polaroid Invincibility actually happens at um, 2. Full card. Well, that would be great if this wasn't a daily, but we want to... Oh, that was close. We want to finish Boss Rush for the points. Or do we? I mean, we could, in theory, do Hush. Do you want to do Hush? I haven't done Hush enough. Let's do this. We hardly do hush at all. Right. If I hadn't picked up the halo before I did this, I could have got three extra spirit hearts, but never mind. We'll finish off this floor. We've got more than enough time. We can even go back into boss rush if we want to, but I don't want to. Yeah, hush sounds like a good idea. Now, I understand that there is a trick to fighting... I want to say the hush, but just hush. Um, whereby you stop shooting it for a while. And this causes it to sort of lower its defences. It has an armour mechanism going on. I don't really want these. I don't know for sure how that works. I haven't looked into it. I'm I'm sort of up for making it my my own task to learn it. I don't know how I got hit by that gurgling, by the way. This is a judgment card. Maybe worth a couple of plays. Got a bomb out of it, which may be the thing that I use to blow him up if he doesn't give me what I want. Yeah, I'll blow these both up. Oop, little bombs. This is good. We can take this because we didn't need the key that that little... Ooh, didn't realise you were going that way. Bugger okay, picked up. We should definitely be looking out for tinted rocks because we have plenty of... Bombs. And not plenty of HP right now because I am slowly going insane and therefore taking silly damage. But I shouldn't be. It's okay though. I think we're survivable to and through the hush fight. But we don't have any keys, so we need at least seven of them to get to you know to get the best out of hush. Because there's four chests and three. Locked rooms. You fucking what? Let's just do this. All right, good. Nope, mine. There's seven chests and three locked rooms. That's two item rooms with two items each. And um, the four chests uh, and a shop. Two of diamonds. Yeah, that's perfect. And we don't need to worry about picking up coins anymore. I'm going to have a, another quick look for... Pick this up. Is it points? I think it's points. Quick look for tinted drops in every room that I can remember to look for tinted drops on. 
And our range is fantastic. So we can stand way back. Do all the damage. I need these for now, if you don't mind. That's very good. Extremely helpful. That uh, small assurance of survivability just now from, from the Book of Sin. It's actually giving me a lot more confidence in this floor. Although we've slowed down a lot, but we're still on time for boss rush. And we're not going to boss rush, we're going to hush hush. That's three keys. So we can at least get into the rooms, uh, which I think is the important thing. We want to get into the two, um, the two item rooms. Ouch. That guy just sort of ran really fast at me. It's a bit hard to bomb. I didn't mean to do that, but we're okay. We'll go back for it. I do not like the bloat, uh, in case you're wondering. If anybody does, you're a liar. Frankly. But we've done it. I don't know uh, how I did that. <laughs> we'll take it. It's toothpicks. Toothpicks is an excellent item. I, I, I grimace there. I know you can't see me. Um, you just have to furnish your imagination of what I look like with a horrible grimace while I hit, wait for a bomb to very close to me to explode to see whether it does me damage or not. It didn't. Yeah, chub fights, nice and easy. With a toothpicks tears upgrade, plus the fact we're basically doing triple shot without the tears downgrade. We'll do that, we'll do that. What is this? Don't know. It's question marks. I don't like question marks because I don't understand question marks. Um, I don't know whether it has been established what question marks do. If we find a golden key on this floor, I will do those rooms. But I'm not going to spend the three keys that I have you know, saved up for the hush fight, uh, the hush lobby. Four keys saved up for the hush lobby on what could turn out to be rubbish and nonsense. That's very helpful. Let me through, thank you. Uh, don't see a tinted rock. We'll go on. That's decent. That's probably decent. Health up. Health. Now this is helpful, uh, for people who are not aware. Permanent Polaroid Invincibility takes effect when you have half a heart or less of red HP. And on the womb and beyond, you take a full heart of damage for all sources of damage. Which means that unless you have at least 2 HP, you cannot spend uh, the HP required to get from uh, 1 HP to half an HP. Which makes sense, because if you have to spend a full HP, the game won't let you spend your last half a, half a red heart. Unless you spend it on a Devil Deal. So, with 2 HP, you can stay at this half heart interval, like I have, except I apparently can't. Yes, I can. Um, then try and take that red heart come on pop up there we go try and take red heart damage perhaps with a, a blood bank basically or a demon judgment and as a result take full red heart damage and get to half a heart I'm scared of this we took damage but that's okay we did get a deal with the devil which is not Krampus Abaddon is here which means we should do this. Didn't get me anything, that's okay. Abaddon, we'll do that. Uh, oh, I wanna go in here. That was a very good deal with the devil. I hope you all got it too. Because, given the choices, uh, that is the curse of the tower, which I don't want, so I'll take the Midas touch, which I think on contact does as much damage as you have money. Uh, I don't really want either of these either. I'm just having a quick look for Tinted Drops if you're wondering. Uh, Dad's key is not useful because we won't be able to go as far as... Uh, as the, the... What am I saying? 
Mega Satan. We won't be able to go as far as Mega Satan. What is this? Little lava, the poop is moving. I'm going to not take that because I don't understand it. And therefore I fear it. Hush time! Let's us. Take damage immediately. Very good. So we have permanent Polaroid invincibility, despite all my waxing lyrical about how having 2 HP is better than having 1 HP. We have permanent Polaroid invincibility for the simple reason... Uh, that... What was that? Um, oh dear. What's happening? We have no red HP at all. <laughs> right. So I guess we just sort of wait, and then do damage, and then wait. Look. I'm not proud of myself right now. Let's use a tower card here. Oh, they break up as well, don't they? I don't know why I'm farting. Alright, so Fart Baby is collecting... Right, so Fart Baby is like... Um... What's it called? Dry Baby. Except... It farts when it gets hit. Instead of... Dry Baby does, which is to do Necronomicon damage to everything in the room, which I think you can probably guess is a little bit more valuable. So I'm trying this uh, pause and then fire. I'm having a brief look at the, um, the, the health bar at the bottom to try and gauge what's happening. To be honest, at the moment, I'm more concerned about not dying. I know we're not in any immediate danger of dying. But we have taken a few hits already. Right, this is where we stand still. Not here, though. I think this is a good place to stand. Yeah, the health bar is going down reasonably slowly. We're about halfway through, I would say. Help. Is this good? I don't know. I'm just going to stand here. I think we're okay. So if I stop now, I would expect that when I... Oh, really bad. When I start shooting again, we go down faster, right? Although I can't hit it when it's a dent. Uh, stand here. We only have to go as far as Isaac, remember, so as long as we beat this hush fight, I'm going to expect a lot of people have done boss rush, uh, rather than hush rush, shall we call it. And I think we've got this particular fight I think we've won this fight, you know. I don't think we're in much danger of losing. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to end up on as much HP as I'd like to at the end of it. Careful. Fuck. <laughs> Help! We're okay. Uh, we want to be careful here. I think we might get hit by these shots. No? I'm just going to, you know, <laughs> hold my breath and not move. We're done! I didn't really do the, the thing that I was told to do, but um, we did okay. We'll just go up. So that was 5555 five, five, five points because we didn't do boss rush, and I'm thinking that many people might have done boss rush. Uh, what do you think? Bottom right through the big room? I do too. Let's go this way first. So we've got a thousand points on those people, basically, is what I'm getting at. Uh, do you know what? No. I'm down. I agree with Northern Lion on this as well. Fuck that room. This, of course, is not the boss fight. That was a clutch dodge, though, did you see? Uh, I'm obviously going to have to bomb through that room again. We have 24 bombs. What am I complaining about? One makes you larger. What makes you larger? This is the boss fight. What makes you larger is non ideal. <laughs> because. I mean, we can get some. We could farm up some points, is what I'm thinking, but I'm just not gonna. <laughs> Basically. What makes you larger obviously makes you easier to hit. Which is not something I like. Can we do the same trick as we do with Dry Baby and hide behind Fart Baby? I think yes. So, what happens there is that if you position yourself such that Fart Baby is between you and Isaac, so it's a bad place to stand, don't do what I did. Um. Fart Baby will just collect the shots that Isaac's pumping out, basically. Also, for newcomers to the game, 
you should stand in one of the corners adjacent to the one that the uh, thing comes from. So I'm going to do this room. No, I'm not. I'm going to leave this room. <laughs> I'm going to farm up some more points. I know I said it was a bad idea, but I'm doing it. I feel like we finished this run a bit quickly. You see, we're not even... The hush fight was over before I had to be in the hush fight. And we still haven't got to the cutoff for the hush fight. Uh, those dodges, by the way, let's not talk about them. Of spades. Don't need that. Probably not going to go in there either. Uh, when I get scared for my HP, which has just become not the case anymore, I will leave and collect my points and go. But 28,000 points for doing an Isaac fight? I'm pretty sure we could be doing better. Um, we've gone reasonably quickly, but we're very powerful, and I expect lots of people will be also quite powerful. So I don't think this is really a competitive score, unless I go to the effort of fighting these extra rooms and getting the points, and picking up these consumables, etc, etc, blah, blah, blah. Don't forget we're at uh, basically 99 cents. We did use some to buy stuff from the shop earlier. But our damage has been increased uh, as a result of that. Because we started off with money equals power, if you recall. And all of these consumables that Book of Sin has given us are also valuable. And having picked up Mom's Key, we're going to get the points for the consumables and chests that drop. And we're killing each room like it's ridiculously quick. Look up. Amazing. I like a lucky penny. So we'll do this room and then we'll just leave. Turned out I never actually needed to be worried about my HP. But it's good to have a contingency plan. And we will not do this room. I'm going to do this room. Yeah, you pick that up and see if we get some more stuff. No more stuff? Okay. I mean, our, our shots are piercing shots. They're going straight through everything and we've got three of them. Which is, I'm really enjoying this. Uh, it's not a synergy, but you know, it's just a combination of items that are doing really well for us. Two of the same familiar, basically, in different guises. One devil version and one angel version, I suppose. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. A key. A coin. Well, we're done. Let's see how well we did. It's only That's even worse than yesterday's, to be fair. Yeah, a rush bonus for 55-55, which is better than the rush bonus for boss rush, which is 44-44. So you only get one of the two rush bonuses, so that is correct. But um, I think, really, that's a that's a time thing. I'm right in between two different people, though, so there's one point in those. Let's have a look at friends. Uh, e? No one else has played. Yesterday we got... 28. So we'll come back tomorrow, see how today's turned out to be in the end, and thank you for watching. I'll see you then.